Hi there, the Green Light family. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you for liking the video. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for sharing my content. It really helps the channel grow, so I appreciate that. I have a message to share and the message is getting out there. We can't fight if we want peace. If we keep fighting, that's going totally against what peace is all about. Peace, peace is soothing. Peace frees you. So the scripture I chose today is, It is more blessed to give than to receive. And it's Act, Acts chapter 20 verse 35. So I'm going to share a prayer that conversation with God, I guess. So dear God, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost, with love and respect, I give myself to you to use me to be of service to your mission of love. Thank you for showing me the way, as hard as it, is, as, hard as it has been. The lessons I had learned, I saw, and I openly accepted all the ways. I am perceived. Please assist me with a message for all your light children of hope, of healing, and of joy. God says, I have given you all the tools to use to gain the clarity you seek, and you have used them wisely and directly with love. People have misused the word love in many hurtful ways, but the power of love transmutes all negativity lurking in the shadows of mankind and brings it to the forefront of their ambitions for all to see. People may think they have won a particular battle and are glorified by their group of friends. In reality, all the seeds of evil doings are actually their own living nightmare. <clears throat> Do not concern yourself how things will turn out if you just focus on me, God, and the direction I send you. You will be free from the turmoil ensuing in their reality. The hardest thing to do in life is to let go of the people, places, or things not of the highest good, no matter how much you want to make a difference in. You end up filling and pouring into cups that have cracks in them. Eventually, all the love poured into those cups no longer stays and it just trickles away. Free will and the right to choose is everyone's gift. It is a law bestowed to all my children. Neither love or hate can be forced. You're either open to it or you reject it. For each individual person, there is no wrong choice. Only the outcome of the choices is what is truly seen to the visible eye. You are strong. Your body heals itself. You are protected and completely encased in the light of God. Your father sees everything and sends his angels to protect his creations. Return to the source of love and you are forgiven, showered and adored. Adoring the love, adorning the love that is flowing to you. Whenever you feel low, know you can always ask for more. The supply is endless. Say to yourself, I am reborn, I am whole and complete, I am protected, and I am loved. You are loved. Signed, God. So, I uh, chose some Archangel, my Archangel cards for us today. The first one that came out was Clairvoyance. Archangel Brazil. I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. Pay attention to how you're feeling, especially when you're dealing with people, because you can sense things happening before they even happen. Then we got Archangel Zadkiel. It's compassion. Soften your heart with respect to the situation and all the people involved, including yourself. Realize that many people are under the dictatorship of other people. Everybody wants to fit in. Everybody wants to be accepted. And sometimes you people sell their souls just to get along with others and um, after a while it weighs heavy on your emotional state your physical body your mental body and your spiritual body you end up completely depleted with no energy the third one is Archangel Michael he wants you to have crystal clear 
intentions. So be clear what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. Know that you're protected. Know that you're guided. Know that you're loved and God is always there with you by your side. Jesus walks with you. He lives in the hearts of man. God created us in his image. Then we have divine order. It's Archangel Ragul. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlying order. Know that everybody is struggling. Everybody is uncertain. Nobody knows what's going on. And then we have Archangel Metatron. It is prioritized. So we need to focus on your highest priorities. He says, I will help you get organized and motivated. That's pretty self-descriptive. And we got four goddess cards. Bast, you're independent. Your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. The more you search outside yourself looking for the answers, the more you give your independence away and you become dependent on other people's information, which may not be right for you. We have Cordelia. She wants you to go outside. We've all been spending too much time indoors. So it's time to go outside and get some fresh air and just breathe in love and exhale the, the darkness or whatever heaviness you're carrying around. Then we got Coventina and it's purification and her bits are showing. There we go. It's time for cleansing and detoxification of your body and mind. So it's time to let go of all the lower energies that we've been feeling or picking up on from other people. Let it all go. It ha doesn't mean anything to you. And the last one was Rihanna. So she's the sorceress. You are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. You just have to believe that you have it. You have to have faith that what you're putting your intentions into are going to work for the good of all. Not just for you, but for everybody involved. Then I got some tea leaf cards. You may ha be, have dealings or a relationship with a man, which holds deep spiritual love. So it could be your twin flame. It could be your companion in the etheric field. You could be communicating in your dreams. And we got the tulip. And you guys share great passion. So know that he's on his way. Or he or she is on his way. Make a wish because your wish will be granted. And we have the dog. Close up. You have pleasure with a close friend. So with the season with Christmas time. You're going to get to spend time with friends and family that you haven't seen in a long time. And it's going to be a wonderful it's going to be a wonderful celebration for you. You may be dealing with muddled, unclear thinking. Tell that doubt or that worry to just go away. Focus on a good outcome and you'll get a good outcome. If you focus on the, a bad outcome, you're going to get whatever you're thinking about. So September is looking good. September, you could... You could be publishing your book. You could be opening your store. There's a multitude of things you could be doing. School starting in September, so make your intentions now to pass all your tests, to focus more on your studies. And then I pulled one tarot card, and it's transition. So we're all going through changes because we're all realizing the power that we hold within ourselves the power to manifest our dreams, our realities, our, our goals, our aspirations, our lovers, our friendships. We have the power. Take your power back. Stop giving it away so freely. It's important that you keep your power for yourself too. Because how can you give if you're empty? So God bless you guys. I hope that resonated with you. If it didn't, there's many other tarot readers out there that have lots of content for you. God bless. Take care, and I'll see you in my next upload.